Hi everyone, it's Rain here from Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Well, today is my last harvest day of 2022. I'm about to harvest all of my potatoes that I planted in tires last spring. I call them my tater tires. The plants finally yellowed and died down so they're ready to be harvested. So I'm going to show you how to harvest your potatoes from tires. These are red fingerling potatoes. It's the first time I've ever it's very windy. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever planted them, so I'm hoping to have a nice harvest this year. <laughs> the way to harvest your potatoes from tires is taking the top tires off and then moving the dirt very carefully as you get to the bottom of the last tire, and that's where you're going to find your potatoes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Well, here's the harvest. <laughs> it's about five pounds. I measured it. I weighed it on the scale, that is. And I'm not disappointed with the potatoes because fingerling potatoes are supposed to grow anywhere from one inch to three inches. Some of them are one inch, and some of them actually did grow three inches. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to put these in the basement, as is in the box, for a couple of weeks to let them just cure a little bit. Overall though, I'm a little disappointed with the harvest itself. Normally when I plant potatoes and tires, I get double the amount of harvest. So I'm not quite sure what happened this year, but uh, I have some thinking to do for my garden next year. But for now, I'm pretty happy that it's all done. I did get some harvesting done. I got some crops harvested. Uh, some were failures, some did very, very well and I learned a lot of lessons and that's what my goal was for this year. My goal was to experiment, plant everything that I have and see what grows and what doesn't. So I'll know for next year. The garden is now closed for the year. <laughs> I have to say I'm pretty happy about that. It was a lot of work and not that much return unfortunately. So as you can see behind me I still have some raised beds, uh, the hoop houses I mean, and I have to harvest a few things, cut down the asparagus, cut down the raspberries, plant a few trees, and I have right here some lettuce finally growing so maybe I'll have some fresh lettuce before snow falls. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on my gardening venture this season and I'll see you next time on Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Bye!